The Cat. The year is 1935. The place is Hollywood. The Los Angeles newspapers call him the cat. He steals at night. Tonight, he is at a house in the Hollywood Hills. The people in the house are having a party. They cannot see or hear the cat. He is on the roof. I need to get to that window, he thinks. Minutes later, he is making a hole in the window. The cat opens the window and gets into a bedroom. He listens, but everything is quiet in the room. The only noise is the party. Now I must find the jewels, he thinks. It only takes him a minute or two to find them. I can get hundreds of dollars for these, he thinks. Moving quickly, he puts them into his bag and leaves. Next day, at Starshine Studios, Zach Wakeman is making a movie. The star of the movie is Natalie Nevins. She begins to act. Okay, Natalie, Zach says. Act very afraid. You want to get out of the building, he says. You look up. You can't see Brad. But Brad, you can see Natalie, and you're waiting for her. Okay, says Zach. Now bring on the stand-ins. The stand-ins are Nathan and Bud. They do all the dangerous things in the movie, all the stunts. Nathan is Natalie's stand-in, and Bud is Brad Poole's stand-in. Good luck, Nathan, says Natalie. Thanks, Miss Nevins, says Nathan. Brad says nothing to Bud. Okay, calls Zack. Begin to climb up the building, Nathan. The two stand-ins begin to act. Nathan climbs out of the window and up onto the roof of the building. Bud is waiting for him. At first, you don't see Bud, Nathan, calls Zack. Now you do. And Bud, you try to stop Nathan, but he gets away. Nathan quickly gets away from Bud and runs across the roof of the building. Bud runs after him. Natalie Nevins is watching them. I can do that, she thinks. Nathan is very good, but I don't need a stand-in. Okay, everybody, calls Zach. We are beginning again in 20 minutes. I like your hair, Nathan, says Bud, laughing. It's very nice. You're very pretty. Nathan is angry, but he says nothing. 
He does not like Bud. Natalie goes to speak to Zack. What's wrong, Natalie? Zack asks. Mr. Wakeman, please, can I do some of my stunts? Asks Natalie. I don't always need a stand-in. Sorry, Natalie, says Zack. The stunts are too dangerous. Why do you want to do your stunts, Natalie? Brad Poole asks her. I'm happy to leave the dangerous acting to Bud. Are you coming to my party tonight, Natalie? Zack asks. It begins at 8 o'clock. Yes, Mr. Wakeman, says Natalie. Me too, says Brad. Zack goes to speak to Nathan. I can give you $20 to park the cars at my party tonight, Nathan, he says. Do you want to do it? Yes, please, Mr. Wakeman, says Nathan. That night, Natalie Nevins arrives at Zach Wakeman's house in the Hollywood Hills. Hi, Miss Nevins, says Nathan. Hi, Nathan, says Natalie. Are you working here tonight? Yes, says Nathan. I'm helping to park the cars. Why? asks Natalie. Because I need the money, Nathan tells her. The cat is out again. This time, he is going to steal from Zach Wakeman's house. He leaves his car near the trees and waits. Quickly, he runs across to the building and begins to climb. Nathan does not see the cat. He is watching Natalie Nevins go into the house. There are lots of movie stars here tonight he thinks, but Miss Nevins is the most beautiful. After some time, Nathan goes to look at the swimming pool. A minute later, he sees Natalie Nevins. She is coming out of the house. She has two drinks. I have a drink for you, Nathan, she says. Oh, thanks, Miss Nevins, says Nathan. You're a good stand-in, Nathan, she says. But I want to do some of my stunts in the movie. Mr. Wakeman says no, but I... Suddenly, she sees someone running to the trees. Look, she says. Who's that? It's the cat, says Nathan. Remember him from the newspaper? He's going to that car. Quick, says Natalie. Let's get my car. Do you want me to drive? Nathan asks. I can drive really fast. No, Natalie tells him. I'm driving. Natalie drives fast 
and it is a dangerous road. Be careful, Miss Nevins, says Nathan. You have a movie to finish, remember? It's okay. I'm a good driver, she says. She smiles. And you can call me Natalie. Nathan smiles too. Okay, he says. We're getting near to him, says Natalie. Yes, but look, there's a train coming, says Nathan. Natalie looks quickly. It's okay, she says. It's not going to hit us. The train is moving fast. We aren't going to do it, says Nathan. Yes, we are, Natalie tells him. Wow, that was close, says Nathan. Natalie laughs and says nothing. Suddenly, two policemen see Natalie's car. Look at them, says one policeman. How fast are they going, Joe? Too fast, Sam, says Joe. Let's stop them. It's not going to be easy, says Sam, but let's go. Suddenly, Nathan sees the police car. Uh, Natalie, he says. What is it? She asks. There's a police car behind us, says Nathan. It wants us to stop. I'm not stopping, she says. It's okay. We can tell them everything later. First, we have to stop the cat. Suddenly, the cat sees the police car too. Oh no, he says. I need to get out of this car. He stops his car and runs. Soon after, Natalie and Nathan are jumping from Natalie's car. The cat looks back and sees them. They're stopping too, he thinks. So, who can run the fastest? Minutes later, the police car stops near Natalie's car. The two policemen jump out and look for Natalie and Nathan. Where are they, Sam? asked Joe. I don't know, says Sam. I can't see them. There are too many people. There he is, says Natalie. There's the cat. He's running to that building, says Nathan. Let's go, says Natalie, and she runs after the cat. Nathan runs after her. He's going up to the roof, he says and the three of them begin to climb up to the roof of the building. Suddenly, the cat throws his bag at Natalie. She does not see it, but Nathan does. Natalie, the bag, he calls. The bag does not hit Natalie, but it hits Nathan. Nathan, are you all right? Calls Natalie. I'm okay, 
says Nathan. The cat and Natalie run across the roof of the building. Then, the cat jumps from one building to the next. Natalie watches him. Can I do that? She thinks. Natalie jumps. Nathan sees her. Wow! Look at her! He thinks. The cat sees her too. How can I get away from her? He thinks. He cannot get away from her. Got you! says Natalie, and she jumps on him. So who are you? She takes off the cat's mask. You! She says. It's Bud, says Nathan. The policemen arrive and look from Natalie to Bud and back again. It's the movie star Natalie Nevins, says Joe. Yes, says Sam, and the cat. The next day, Nathan and Natalie tell Zach their story. Bud is the cat? He asks. That's right, says Natalie. And you want to be Brad's new stand-in? Zach says to Nathan. Okay, but we need a new stand-in for Natalie. Who can do her stunts? Natalie doesn't need a stand-in, says Nathan, laughing. She can do her stunts.